Welcome back to the SPF Draft League Top 5 Plays of the Week for Week 4. Stick around to the end to find out which battle gave both participants a two-way tie for the top play of the week. Coming in at number 5 is a tech that almost went undetected in Crouching Bruxish Hidden Ice Weakness. In Game 1 of the South Hill Skinwalkers vs. Jackson's Jacked Sons, Coach Beach revealed a hidden secret, a Yachi Berry on Bruxish that could only be triggered by the opposing Iron Bundle's freeze dry. And though it didn't net the Skinwalkers a win in Game 1, Bruxish went on to be pivotal in picking up wins in Games 2 and 3 and securing a match win on the week. Number 4. Ain't No Sunshine In Games 1 and 3 of the Dallas Dunspars vs. the Leshy LeChonk, Coach Quaint Newt aggressively switched out Pelipper multiple times over the course of the match, even pre-switching to stay one step ahead of the opposing Torkoal, maintaining weather control and drowning out the opposition with powerful rain-boosted attackers. Number 3. Skill Link Issue In Game 2 of the Karamja Whippers vs. the Odawara Octillery, Coach Saffron City needed to press his advantage against the undefeated opposition, and did so in style with a tried and true combo. While Scovillain used Rage Powder to redirect the enemy threats, Cloyster set up a Shell Smash and went to work, picking up four quick KOs in four turns and bringing this set to a smashing close. Number 2. To Squish a Fish Like many Dondozo Tatsugiri matches, Game 3 of the Bellingham Beldum vs. Iron Balls revolved heavily around the titular combo, with Coach Disco Card Shark trading resources early to set up for a commander-boosted endgame. But Coach MFS Giant was ready for the smoke, setting up a masterful pivot with Parting Shot Rev of Room, allowing Choice Scarf Rotom to come in on the same turn Commander was activated. But he wasn't done yet, as a fast Thunder Wave set up Serral Edge for a perfectly timed Clear Smog, nullifying Dondozo's advantage and allowing it to survive a critical hit from Order Up, meaning Rotom could switch back out one final time resetting its choice item and bringing it home with powerful thunderbolts and an impressive match victory. Our number one play of the week goes to both players in the match, as game one was one of the most masterful series of plays we have seen in a while, but respect must be paid to an equally impressive comeback. In game number one of the York Street Yanma vs Nomo Dozo Bozos, Coach BMM entered the Matrix with an incredibly impressive Terra prediction allowing a freshly electric-type Vaporeon to hit the enemy Garganacle for super effective damage, and steamrolling to a well-deserved 4-0 victory. But despite a thorough shellacking, the Bozos were unfazed, battening down the hatches in games 2 and 3, and riding out the storm to a 2-1 match win that makes the top cut due to sheer mental resilience. Thanks for watching the SPF Top 5 Plays of the Week. Let me know which play was your favorite in the comments below, and tune in next week as we wrap up the regular season with more sick plays.